Now, remember the Hogans have this very eco-friendly house or mm -hmm. environmentally friendly house. The waste is put through a machine and it is used as fertilizer and all their electricity comes from solar power. Well, if you think living in an environmentally friendly place means giving up all your creature comforts, well, you are wrong. So, of course, you might think that if you live in a house like this, you're going to have to give up those creature uh. comforts, <laughs> which are your modern conveniences, basically. Yeah, things like hot water and electricity are creature comforts. They make our lives just a little nicer. Uh, it's like the difference between camping and being at home. When you're camping, you don't have your creature comforts. You don't have your computer and the internet and electricity. So they don't have to give those things up. To give up means you no longer have it. You say goodbye to it. Well, Matt and Erica even have a satellite dish set up. A satellite dish is that big dish. It's a metal a circle that you see outside homes and it receives uh, satellite transmissions from space so you can get television programs broadcast into your apartment or your home and also you can uh, connect with the internet that way too. And of course they're not just using this for themselves, this satellite dish will give local people wireless and high-speed internet service. Wireless just means you don't need wires. Mm -hmm. The signals go through the air. Uh, you can take your laptop computer, for example, to a coffee shop and get wireless internet service there. Yeah, I love it. Now this means that people can get away from it all. This phrase, to get away from it all, means you leave the stress of life, the normal things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and you change your situation or your environment completely. Usually when we get away from it all, we're going on vacation or just maybe taking some time off so it's not so crazy and hectic in our lives. Now to get away from it all is our shortcut for you. Let's take a closer look. Shortcut for you. I'm so tired of taking tests. I wish it was the summertime. It sounds like you want to get away from it all. But if I run away, I have nowhere to stay. No, to get away from it all means to escape by taking a vacation or a break. Oh, so you mean 过个轻松的假期的意思? Every summer, I like to get away from it all for about a week. That sounds like a lot of fun. Do you go to different countries? Actually, when I get away from it all, I just like to relax. Oh, do you go to the beach and read or something? Actually, my favorite way to get away from it all is to go in my room and take a nap. Oh. So again, you might want to get away from it all, leave all those things that cause you stress, yeah. like living in a big city or getting away from your job for a while. Yeah. And people can get away from it all in Costa Rica, but they can still keep in touch with friends and family. So yes, you can live in this very peaceful and calm environment in a rainforest in Costa Rica, in a tree house, of all <laughs> things, but you can still keep in touch with those people that you know. To keep in touch with somebody means to keep in contact with them. You can write them letters, they can write to you, you can call them on the phone, and they can call you on the phone. Now, in addition, or something extra that they're planning on is building a health center where they can have exercise classes like yoga, so if you like yoga, you could go to the health center and take some classes and stretch your body. Or they have massage therapy classes, which really sounds good. Now, they do a lot of massage here in Taiwan. It's when someone rubs or presses deeply into your skin, maybe your back or your neck, and 
it really relaxes all your muscles. So those are just a couple of classes that will be offered at the health center. You know, this whole story of the this family here, the Hogans, sounds a lot like the Daniel Defoe novel, yeah. Robinson Crusoe, uh -huh. where he was stranded on an island and he lived away from it all in very primitive conditions. So if you have always dreamed of living like Robinson Crusoe, and you still want to enjoy modern conveniences, maybe you should plan a trip to Finca Bella Vista, and maybe you can even live there or get some ideas from the Hogans. I'm sure they will be very willing to help you out. Yeah, now you're not gonna have to do without your modern conveniences. A modern convenience could be anything from a car or running water, or an inside toilet. Some people in some of these countries have to go to the bathroom outside. Well, there are lots of modern conveniences as we've just finished talking about. So don't worry if you do go there, it'll feel like home. You're just in a tree. Mm -hmm. You're just in a tree, but you're still living a very healthy and productive life. You're not missing out on anything <laughs> and you get to live in wonderful Costa Rica to mm -hmm. boot. Okay, everybody, that brings us to the end of our explanation. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. <laughs> 